हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन प्रीवियस सेशन आई हैव डेमोन्स्ट्रेटेड द इशू और प्रॉब्लम ऑफ रेस कंडीशन सो इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट यू हाउ टू डील विद द रेस काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन सो लेट्स लुक एट द प्रीवियस कोड व्हिच वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन इन दिस कोड एक्चुअली वी हैव डिफाइंड वन शेयर्ड वेरिएबल नेम्ड एज शेयर्ड and then i have created two threads of the same process and this two threads were trying to increment the value of shared variable and it was trying to increment the value of the shared variable 1 million times okay and we got to know that because of the context switching in appropriate context switching there was a problem of race condition so in this situation we were expecting if there are two threads and both are incrementing the value of shared variable 1 million times if both will execute successfully the final value of the shared variable need to be 2 million right but if we execute this code as we have already uh, discussed in the previous session so let me compile this and let's say we execute it it is giving not 2 million it is giving something else so if i again compile it the final value of the shared variable it is displaying different different values right so it is displaying different value then again different value then again different value and so on so that means there is a race condition the final value which is we are expecting here it is not same every time right so to deal with this situation what we can do is let's modify the previous code okay so we can deal with such kind of situation with the help of either mutex or semaphore so till now i haven't elaborated uh, the semaphore so let's deal with the race condition with the help of mutex so i need to declare a global kind of mutex variable so we know that how we can declare a mutex kind of variable we can use p thread underscore mutex underscore t function or t variable p thread underscore mutex underscore t and let's say i am giving this name as mutex okay so this is the mutex which has been defined as the global mutex variable now this mutex let's say inside the main function i would initialize so let's say i initialize the mutex so p thread underscore mutex underscore init function we can use to initialize the mutex and this function takes two arguments one is the pointer of mutex types and another some default argument if you want to set so the very first thing is the address of mutex variable which we want to initialize and the second variable we can set as null okay so it will initialize the mutex variable with default attributes right now how we are going to use this actually mutex we used to provide mutual exclusive access of shared resources like critical set so if there are multiple threads or n number of threads are there they are operating on the same shared data before accessing the shared data we can call mutex underscore you can say lock okay so p thread underscore mutex underscore lock is one of the function which every thread need to call before acquiring or before operating on the shared resource here the shared resource is actually the shared variable so in this loop which i have written in this thread underscore function this loop is actually incrementing the value of shared variable so let's look at here we need to apply p thread underscore mutex underscore lock before updating the shared variable the mutex need to be acquired by every function or you can say every thread right so here we need to pass the address of mutex variable and the name of the mutex variable is one uh, that that mutex only right so i am passing m percent mutex and once we finish the updation of the shared variable we can unlock the variable so p thread underscore mutex underscore unlock okay 
and then address of new text variable I have passed. Okay. So I hope you are already familiar with these two functions pthread underscore mutex underscore lock and pthread underscore mutex underscore unlock. Now once we do this, when a function calls this particular, when a thread calls this particular function, it will first acquire the lock on the gate. So in the same duration when let's say thread 1 is executing and updating the shared variable 1 million times, if another thread also want to acquire uh, the lock on the same mutex it will be blocked okay so this will solve the problem of race condition because whatsoever the thread will acquire the lock first second well second thread will be able to acquire the lock after the execution of first one so because of that sequential execution will be done on the shared resources and it will not lead to any of the race condition so let's execute it. Now, for compiling this, we can use GCC and we need to link the library. So we can use lpthread library. It is executed fine, no issue. And then dot slash a dot out to run this particular program. When we are running, you can check it. Thread zero is updated shared variable till 1 million and the shared one updated the shared variable up to 2 million right so if you execute it the sequence the values and everything is fine now in these two run the thread one will execute it first then thread one thread zero executed first then thread one but in this third time when i have executed thread one executed first then thread zero executed second time but the final value of the shared variable is fixed so in whatsoever the situation is whether thread 0 is executing first or thread 1 final value of the shared variable will be fixed right so i am executing it multiple times and the final value of shared variable it is 2 million so that means with the help of mutex and semaphores this situation which we consider a race condition can be dealt with right so this is sufficient for this particular session right in next session i'll talk about the semaphore variable and the similar kind of situations we will deal with the help of semaphore variable right